as oil and gas companies extend their operational domain to deep and ultra-deep water. One of the challenges the industry faces is the increasing pressures of the subsalt developments. These ever-increasing depths, in combination with the environmental constraints, have, over the last few decades, initiated the use of safety-instrumented systems for protection against overpressure. This allows the use of pre-qualified flow line and riser designs for use in high-pressure developments, which consequently reduces the risk associated with introducing new technology. Traditional subsea production systems utilize fully rated systems from the well to the installation. These systems constitute rigid, thick-walled pipes and risers designed to withstand the highest potential pressures the reservoir can deliver. While previously considered to yield the utmost protection in pressure containment, these thicker, high-pressure systems are heavy, and the riser will in some cases be limited by its own geometric and weight constraints, making it impossible to design. A reservoir will typically only produce at its maximum pressure during the initial stage of production. Once production has begun, pressures may rapidly decline, making designing for these higher pressures a less than optimum economic situation. Under normal operation, pressures remain controlled during free product flow. However, scenarios exist that could require a topside valve, such as the riser ESD valve, to be closed before the Christmas tree valves on the ocean's floor. In this situation, the entire pipeline will experience the full well pressure. Similarly, should a hydrate plug or other form of blockage occur inside the pipeline, product flow would be constrained or even stopped. While pressures from the hydrate plug to the topside valve remain low, pressures upstream from the plug would rise to full shut-in pressure. For derated pipeline systems, a technology to address these concerns is the use of high-integrity pressure protection systems, or HIPS. These systems work through a number of redundant pressure transducers, an autonomous logic controller, and automated valves to shut off the flow in case of an upset condition. In a HIPS configuration, when the riser ESD valve closes, the pressure inside the pipeline begins to rise. As the pressure reaches the set point, the logic controllers trigger the HIPS valves to close. As a result, internal pressure from the HIPS valves to the topside FPSO never rise above the settle-out pressure. From the HIPS valves to the Christmas tree on the wellhead, the fully rated system is designed to accommodate the higher pressure. Should a hydrate plug occur, the pressure would rise behind the plug in a similar manner as closing the topside valve. Upstream from the plug, the pressure would rise to the trigger pressure, causing the HIPS valve to actuate and close off the product flow, protecting the derated system from overpressurization. Again, from the HIPS to the wellhead Christmas tree, this fully rated system is designed to withstand these full shut-in pressures. Additionally, fortified zones, a section of reinforced pipeline, accommodate pressure increases close to the HIPS based on reaction time. Industry has shown interest in the usage of subsea HIPS in the Gulf of Mexico. While HIPS has a proven track record elsewhere, it remains novel technology to the United States. DNV has been working with industry leaders to establish a design guideline for HIPS-based pipeline systems.